take the readings from the spectrometer setup, uh, we have to have this measurement of this A plus B in our diffraction grating. So what you see in, in this diffraction grating, you see it's, it's, you see some colors and this color is this, this diffraction due to the happening after reflection. So the light is coming like this and then light is getting reflected to the camera. Right? And as there are lots of lines drawn here and from some of the lines, some of the edges, the light is getting reflected in one direction. From some other edge, light is getting reflected in another direction. So lots of different lights are coming along this camera and they are interfering and producing this diffraction pattern. And that's if, if you have a simple glass plate, you would not, we would never see such diffraction patterns. Right? So anyway, this diffraction pattern that you are seeing at, right at this moment is due to the reflection from one surface. But the diffraction uh, pattern that we see in this particular experiment is due to the light getting transmitted from one side and then coming out from the other side. Okay, so there are two different types of uh, diffractions. One is called diffraction due to reflection and diffraction due to transmission. In our experiment we have diffraction due to transmission. So again, coming back, uh, how do we calculate the grating element? Right, so for every grating there is one particular information that you will always see it is written there. For example, in this case, it is 300 lines per millimeter. So in this glass plate, within 1 millimeter width, how many lines are there? 300 lines, right? So as I was showing earlier, here is our distance A plus B and that is your grating element. So within this distance A plus B, uh, within this distance A plus B, how many lines are there? Only one line, right? So how much is the grating element? Grating element is the distance or the width within which there is only one line. So in our case, we have 300 lines per millimeter. So 300 lines in 1 millimeter, 1 line in 1 millimeter divided by 300 lines. And as I explained here, within 1 A plus B distance, you have 1 line. And that is what we have calculated here. One line for this diffraction grating, one line is within this distance. So that is your grating element that is A plus B, 1 divided by 300 mm, right. So we will use this A plus B value in here and we will calculate d theta by d lambda. Of course, we will measure for different n how much is the theta and from there so we will have theta n a plus b given from this equation and we will be able to calculate the dispersive power, right. So we go now and take the one sample reading from the, the setup, thank you.